you're in Soundtrap and you'd like to duplicate <clears throat> the whole composition. Uh, the idea here is, let's say you're working in a team and a number of people are collaborating and adding elements into the composition. Well, what I favor is that you save as, right here, a copy of the full composition from the studio into your own personal account, and then you do your own mix down. And if you're not sure how to do that, I will have a link to this multi-step process into the YouTube video that you're watching right now, just down below in the comments, or not comments, but just the description. Um, and you go ahead and file, save as, click OK. Now, if you want to export a specific track, you can do that as well, which is really exciting. Furthermore, if you want just a region, you can grab that as well. Now, what's cool is you can take a region and add it to the loop library. Then you can bring in that loop into any composition that you're playing on. So you create some kind of cool beat or other riff or hook or something else that you want to have access to. Um, you know, that's a really good idea. In fact, one of my favorite things to do is to generate all kinds of sounds. Or, you know, like let's say you're, you're not really feeling too inspired from a, a compositional creativity standpoint. You could go in and just plunk around with synthesizers and generate all kinds of sounds or sound effects and things and then stick them in the loop library for later use. Um, it's a fun thing to do without a lot of uh, stress or pressure about creativity, but it also can lead to a really creative idea. And to quote you too, when they're working on a composition, they're looking for a sound. They're not looking for a song. The sound is what takes them to the song. The song. And it's, so it's just another way to think about how to be creative. Um, and again, these are the steps on how to do that. And once you have it in the loop library, then you're good to go. Okay. All right. Hopefully that was helpful.